Hey everybody, it's Free Sky Steve. This is a quick tip. This is for updating your Ethos based transmitter. I did want to get the word out. I've recorded this video before. I'm going to make an even shorter version of it. Essentially, what's going on here is I have a transmitter that is an X20S and it has a weak battery. So I got to record this video quickly. And you, as you can see, as I plug it in, the thing I want to call to your attention is this right here, where it says module version is 2.2.6. This has to be updated to the latest version. This has to be green for whichever radio you're working with. I have an X20S here, so it needs to be 2.2.7. If you do not do this, your Lua scripts may not perform properly, and you might not be able to get your stabilization receiver to work. So make sure you have that up to date. Now, the Lua script, what is this thing? Um, it's essentially a Lua scripts are a programming language and it, it's been out for a while and our hardware developer team makes the hardware, makes the things like stabilized receivers and when there's updates to it, they're the people who do it, not the people who write Ethos. So they want to be in charge of releasing updates as quickly as possible, get them out as quickly as possible. And they don't want to be tied to Ethos because the Ethos developers might take a couple weeks to get the next update out, if not longer. And so these are released independent of Ethos. You could think of them like apps on your smartphone. The apps you download, you download Facebook, for example, for your smartphone. Um, it's not written by the people who made your smartphone. It's not written by uh, Google who makes Android or Apple who makes the iOS operating system. Just the same, they work fine. Uh, what um, what we're going to do is I downloaded this file and I put it, I went right into my download directory in Windows and I went and I found it. I'm going to hit open right here and you will not be able to see a screen that's popped up right in front of me here. All I do is I select, this is the, it says version 1.0.13 zip. I select it and say open and then this pops up and you can see this and I select all and I say install Lua scripts. And it's that simple. Within a second or two, everything is installed. And with that, you are up to date. Please let me know if you have any questions or comments. Have yourself a great day.